In this video, we are going to look at a sample question for KSSM SPM Chemistry Paper 3, the Amali paper. The experiment that we are going to look at is the conductivity of ionic compounds and covalent compounds in the solid state as well as in aqueous solution. Let's get back to it. Conduct an experiment to determine the electrical conductivity of ionic compounds and covalent compounds in solid state and in aqueous solution. The first thing to do when you read a question is to determine the MV and the RV. I've already done another video on general tips on how to answer the paper 3 questions. I'll leave a link to the video in the description. You can watch the video right after this one. In this case, the thing that comes after the word determine in this format is usually the responding variable. So the responding variable in this case would be RV is the electrical conductivity and the manipulated variable will be since you can see here we are using ionic compounds as well as covalent compounds the manipulated variable what we are manipulating in this experiment will be the type of types of pounds type of compound that we are using for each experiment. Now we can follow the instruction and conduct the experiment. This is how this experiment would be set up and so you would need to use carbon electrodes and then the carbon electrodes are dipped into the chemical that we want to use. Here we are using copper 2 nitrate powder first. Copper 2 nitrate is the ionic compound and then you see we have connecting wires to a switch over here which is connected to the power source which is dry cells and we also have an emitter to measure if there is current or not. And then what we would do is, because we are measuring it in two states, we will add water and then it would become copper 2 nitrate solution. So this is for the ionic compound. And then for the covalent compound, in this question, we are going to use glucose. So first we use glucose powder. Again, we want two states, solid state and we add water to form glucose solution. So this is what you would have to do experimentally. Set it up, conduct the experiment, take the readings, construct a table and record the m meter reading for each experiment when it comes to constructing a table i've already mentioned this in my general tips video link in the description what you need to do is the first column is always the manipulated variable and the second column would be the responding variable and this responding variable must be one which you are measuring or observing so the data that we are collecting from the experiment so in this case the responding variable is the conductivity but how are we measuring conductivity through the m meter reading and so first we would have type of compound because that's our manipulated variable and then under type of compound we have the two compounds copper 2 nitrate and glucose these are the two different types of compounds next we go to m meter reading it's important to note whenever we have any type of data in the table that has units so for example, type of compound has no units and so there's nothing to worry about. But m meter reading, there is a unit and that is amperes. The unit must always be placed in the header itself. The unit cannot be placed with the data. And then we have two states and so solid state and aqueous solution. Now it's time to record the data. So you would have conducted the experiment and when you get the answer, when you get the data, ionic compound cannot conduct electricity in the solid state and therefore the reading, emitter reading will be zero. However, you must remember because we are using an emitter, the accuracy should be to one decimal place. So your readings should all be to one decimal place. So you cannot just write zero. We are talking about the analog emitter here, not the digital one. So this will be 0, 0.0 and when it is in the aqueous solution state there would be a reading and so let's say you got a reading of 2 we cannot write 2 you have to write 2.0 and then for glucose solution glucose is a covalent compound so it would not be able to conduct electricity either way so it's 0, 0.0 and 0, 0.0 now the table is done let's move on to the next question the MV and RV we've already determined at the beginning so the MV is types of pounds. The responding variable here is the electrical conductivity and the fixed variable. The fixed variable here, what we did not change while conducting the experiment for the ionic compound or the covalent compound is the physical states that we are testing. So physical states of ionic compound and 
covalent compound. Next, state one hypothesis for this experiment. Again, if you watch my general tips video, I've already told you what is the general format that you can apply. Now, in this case, we cannot use when MV increases or decreases, RV increases or decreases, because this only applies to quantitative variables. Here, the variables are electrical conductivity and types of compounds. Types of compounds is not quantitative, it is qualitative. Therefore, the format that we need to use is conclusion. The hypothesis would be the conclusion which is ionic compounds can conduct electricity in aqueous solution but not in solid state and covalent compounds cannot conduct electricity in solid state or in aqueous solution. This is the hypothesis. Based on your experiment using copper 2 nitrate solution, this is focusing only on copper 2 nitrate solution, state 1 observation at the ammeter. Whenever it involves ammeter, voltmeter or galvanometer, the observation must include deflection of the needle. For the copper 2 nitrate solution, the ionic compound in aqueous solution, there is a deflection in the ammeter needle or rather off the ammeter needle. After observation of course we will be followed by inference. It will be followed by inference. So the inference is the why to the observation. Why is the observation as such? And so we explain that there are free moving ions in the copper to nitrate solution which enables it to conduct electricity and now for the tricky bit state the operational definition for electrical conductivity of ionic compounds so when it comes to operational definition again do check out the general tips the link to the videos in the description so in chemistry it is what is observed and what is done so in this case although our responding variable is electrical conductivity how we observed or how we recorded electrical conductivity is through the ammeter reading and therefore we say that that it is the reading of the ammeter so this is what is observed now on to what is done so what do we do this usually involves the manipulated variable usually now in this particular situation it is particularly the electrical conductivity of ionic compound and so what did we do to observe the ammeter reading for the ionic compounds when two carbon electrodes are connected to an ammeter using connecting wires and dipped into an ionic compound solution. This is what is done. If you haven't watched this video, do check it out. If you've learned something from this video guys please help me by hitting the like button thank you very much for doing that really does have a lot you can comment down below if you want me to cover any particular topic for physics and biology as well if you are watching this video most likely you are going to sit for exams soon so all the best to you and see you guys in the next one